So uh, this is what I made for my um, Susie pump, the, well CC pump, whatever you want to call it, um, that I got to see. I got it running in my salt water um, reservoir over here. I have the pump in the bottom over there. I had to do some fixing on the pump. When the pump came, it was a little messed up on the inside. The rubber gasket wasn't in properly and it got ripped up. It still works, but it ripped off a chunk of the rubber and I didn't really like that, but I was able to take it all apart and put it back together and get it um, back together and pump properly. So I pumped some water into this. I pumped it about halfway, but I ran it up to here and I used PEX. Uh, you could buy this at Home Depot. I got brass fittings on the side. I used half inch PEX, as you could see. So I could just boom, hook that right on, turn the pump on. It's going to pump water into it and I don't need to hold it or do anything. If I have to take this off and I want to, I could. I'm just going to zip tie this together on here and we're going to zip tie that. But this is all that's going to, uh, how it's going to look and it's going to be able to pump water into it uh, when I do water changes and when I got to fill up the tank or, you know, whatever I got to do. That's what it's going to look like. So half inch pecs I got, I got, picked it up at Home Depot. It was like a dollar fifty. I already had these um, brackets and fittings and stuff um, right here. I already had these fittings, so I, you know, I, I would buy a kit because you're going to probably use it again. I would just buy a kit. I bought a kit off Amazon for cheap, and it came with fittings and the press and the cutters, and it came with everything you need to connect PEX piping. I'd recommend doing that so you have it on hand all the time when you want to do extra things or take this apart and make something new and... You know, whatever the case may be, I, I would thank you that you want it. Uh, I'm not going to put PEX on this, so I'm just going to use a zip tie so I could just cut that off if I ever need to use it. So that's my plan. But I just wanted to show you what I made to easily pump up the fish tank with salt water. And it's going to come right from, like I said, right from the reservoir over here and pump it right into there. I made the line a little bit longer so I could put it in the back or put it in the front. Um, that's why I made the line a little bit longer than I needed to. I probably could have cut this shorter, but I want to be able to move this around. This is not always going to be here. This is just to pump water into it for water changes and, you know, um, uh, other kind of things that I'm going to be doing if I drain out the, uh, the water in the fish tank. So, all right, so that's just a little review on that. Just want to, I just want to show you guys, uh, a little thing you could probably make it better than I could make this a little bit smaller and this way it'll hug the rim of the fish tank a little bit better you can definitely do that I didn't do that um, but you could make it a little bit better than I can so whatever this is just an idea to give you and something that maybe you can come up with something better or um, come up with the same thing and it'll help you out you never know so all right that's it just wanted to show you thanks guys for watching